I went to my friend's wedding not too long ago, which by the way, was the coolest wedding ever. Um, it was a Filipino and Mexican wedding and my friend, she's Mexican and she just looks so beautiful. Um, from her dress, her makeup, her hair, I mean she just looks so perfect. I mean, I was just like, wow. And her husband is Filipino and he was wearing a traditional barong, which is kind of like a Filipino suit, I guess you could say. So that was really, really cool. And then she had a mariachi band playing at her wedding ceremony, which by the way, I didn't even know you can have that at a wedding, which I guess you can because she had it. And I am a sucker for mariachis. And my boyfriend and my friends can tell you that. And I just love mariachis. My last birthday I had, we went to like this fancy like mariachi restaurant place and it was just super, super fun. And I was kind of like getting all these ideas ideas in my head and I was just like oh my gosh I think I want a mariachi for my wedding too. But not that I'm gonna get married anytime soon but I'm just saying I want a mariachi band no but I'm just kidding you guys but on to the makeup um, as you can see I did some really defined neutral eyes with some shades of gold and yellows on the lid just to complement this yellow dress that I have and I will have a picture of this whole look up on my blog so don't forget to check that out and I also added this really humongous flower as an accessory on my hair and I got it for 50 cents at so downtown LA. I think this makeup will be pretty for any occasion during the daytime. And also if you're a bridesmaid and if you're wearing a yellow dress, I think you could sport this makeup too. I think it would be really the pretty. The reason why I'm calling this makeup look sunshine is because that day when me and my boyfriend went to the wedding, of course I was wearing this makeup and this dress, he kept on calling me sunshine or like a walking sunshine because supposedly I looked like a freaking sunball when I was walking down the street because this dress was just really bright and really glowy and almost kind of blinding him. So so I don't know. I think it was trying to compliment me. So I took it as a compliment. So let's get on with the tutorial. What I've already done is moisturize my face, applied lip balm, and obviously this one I is done already, which we're gonna copy on this side of the eye. And I don't have any concealer foundation on because I like to do that last. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a base on my eyelid, and you can use whatever base that works for you. I just like to use my Almay Line Smoothing Concealer. And I'm just gonna apply that all over the lid and this will just even out the skin tone on the lid area and will also help your eyeshadow last I'm just longer. going to set that concealer with a powder foundation or you can use a translucent powder and I'm just using my mini kabuki brush. So brush it on just to I'm set just it. I'm gonna take my 28 neutral palette. Love this palette right here, all kinds of neutral colors. And I'm gonna use my blending brush. This is the SS224 um, 224 by Sigma Makeup. And I'm gonna dip it onto the soft brown right here and a little bit on this dark brown. Tap off the excess and I'm going to apply that above the crease just like that and this will be the transition color from the crease color to the brow bone color and I like to do this because it does help with the blending. For the lid color I'm going to use my NYX eyeshadow in Blondie which is a really pretty kind of like yellowish gold color but more on the yellow side and I'm just going to take my eyeshadow brush from Sephora it in there and I'm going to wet it to intensify the color. You can use water. I'm using my Mark's Mist Opportunity. It's like a, it's like a Max Fix Plus and I'm just going to apply that all over the lid. And I'm also going to apply that onto my inner one third of my lower lash line just to brighten so up the eye. I'm going to my crease and I'm going to go back with my 28 neutral palette and I'm going to use my MAC 217 which is a crease brush or a blending brush and I'm going to go onto this dark brown Top off the excess. I'm going to start on the outer corner right there. Just apply the color and kind of feel where your crease is at, where the socket sinks in. And just go, just do circular motions and then just drag it onto the crease. Just like that. I'm stopping halfway in. Okay, and I'm also doing circular motions to kind of blend that upwards towards above the crease, just like that nice fade so you can pretty much leave the crease color like this I think it looks great but I want to add a little bit of definition and I'm gonna go back with my 28 neutral palette and I'm gonna dip my MAC 217 onto this black eyeshadow just a little bit and with a very light hand I'm just gonna go back onto the outer corner just like that and brush that color inwards towards that yellow and drag it up to the crease and I'm gonna stay on the outer one-third of my crease okay I'm going to take this light pink like really really light pink color really similar to max yogurt and I'm just gonna apply that onto my brow bone as the highlight color okay and I'm gonna go back with my blending brush 
and just blend that highlight with the transition color and I didn't put any more product on this brush this is clean and you just want a really nice the last fade. thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my NYX or NYX um, eyeshadow in yellow marigold and this is more of like a yellow um, kind of like bronzy gold but it looks more like on the bronzy side and I'm just going to use my Sephora eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna wet it again to intensify the color with my Marks Mixed Opportunity. Did I say mix? A uh, mist opportunity. Sorry. Um, and I'm gonna apply that on my middle lid, just like that, just to highlight the eye. And this is just something that I like to do. You guys don't really have to do this, but I think it just makes the eye makeup look more interesting. To line my eyes, I'm gonna use the Marks Keep It Going Longwear Liner Shadow and Entourage and this is the black and silver duo and I'm gonna use it with my e.l.f. angled liner brush and I'm gonna apply it onto my upper lash line and also my water line alright and I'm also gonna take that a little bit right there on the outer one-third of my lower lash line just a little bit I just want to diffuse that black a little bit and I'm gonna go back with my 28 neutral palette with a really small crease brush dip that onto the dark brown eyeshadow and just apply it on the lower lash line just on top of that black Concealer foundation and powder done everything's all set and all the products that I use is going to be listed on my blog everyday makeup with Becky so don't forget to check it out but just to quickly tell you guys um, for the foundation, I've actually been mixing these two together. This is the Revlon Photo Ready, which is supposed to be like really good for like high definition and makeup and stuff, and you know really good for pictures. That's why it's called Photo Ready. And with this uh, Revlon Color Stay foundation, which this is oh I love this stuff. This is love. So I mix the two together, and I've been really liking the finish of it. It just um, really gives me like really flawless looks especially if I apply it with my Costco brush this is the buffer brush it's just a flat top brush and yes Costco make makeup brushes and actually they make amazing makeup brushes you guys have no idea but the downside is you can only get this brush in a set which comes out you know like every holidays and that's the only way you can I get I just want to contour my cheeks just to give me like that nice pop of cheekbones and I'm using my Milani mosaic powder in afterglow and I'm just gonna use a really small kabuki brush and you can use like an angled powder brush um, or like a powder brush and just kind of like pinch the bristles like that and just kind of like use the side to kind of like contour your cheeks but I'm just gonna use a mini kabuki brush just because and you want to just like kind of like suck in your cheeks just like that and just apply it right there under your cheekbones and I'm using a very light hand I'm just going like circular motions and kind of like blending it at the same time I'm just gonna take it up onto my temple Lash, I'm gonna use my Milani in uh, my tie with my elf complexion brush and I really like using this brush I mean it's meant to be for like powder brush but it's actually big enough to use as a powder brush and small enough to be used as a blush brush so that's pretty cool and I'm also going to top it off with my Avon Minerals and what is this Hardy Peach you guys don't have to do this but this is just something that I like to do I like to just kind of like layers like different colors of blushes so just like that my lips Buff I already in. went ahead and um, used a lip liner and I used my Wet n Wild new lip liner in Willow. This one right here, very inexpensive. You can get this at your local drugstore. And I'm going to top it off with a lip gloss. And I'm using my Organic Wear lip gloss in Super Ginger. This one right here, which is like a pinky nude gloss. I'm just going to apply it. Okay, and this step is optional. I just want to kind of highlight my lips um, just right there in the middle. And I'm going to use my eyeshadow, um, the Yellow Marigold by NYX. The same one that we use on the eyes. And just with my just eyeshadow brush. it right there in the middle. And down here. Okay. This is the look, you guys. I hope you guys like it. And please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.